Hi folks, on the show this week, another wild and wonderful wacky wine from Washington. <sighs> Who writes the scripts for these videos? Well, I guess that would be me. Anyway, coming right up. Hi guys, welcome to yet another edition of Big On Wine, the show which, uh, as you should know by now, brings you news, clues and reviews Yes, indeed, about everything in the world of wine. And indeed, we're back in the United States and in the far top left-hand corner of the United States, in fact, in the state of Washington. And my wine of the week for this week is this one here. It's uh, Vino Rosé by Charles Smith and vintage is 2016. And this wine comes in for a price of just under... 15 euro a bottle where I am. Mmm, wild and wonderfully wacky. Yes, indeed. You can see by the label that this is quite an unusual one here. Um, let me tell you a little bit about this wine. It comes, in fact, from the state of Washington, so up in uh, America's northwest, uh, just tucked under the Canadian border there. And it's produced by Casa Smith, and indeed the man behind Casa Smith is none other than Charles Smith. And of course, he is associated with a very successful marketing of his wines. Um, many of you will remember that on the show I've reviewed in the past Kung Fu Girl or Riesling, and I think the Velvet Devil Merlot as well. So they all have uh, these rather unusual names and uh, labelling. Okay, the wine in question is, of course, a rosé wine made from 100% Sangiovese grapes, 12% uh, alcohol and very dry, just three grams per litre of residual sugar. Now, Charles Smith um, has a base in Seattle, but uh, the grapes for this wine uh, come from a long way away, from uh, the back country, in fact, well over 300 kilometers southeast of Seattle, not far from a township called Matawa, which has a population of four or 5,000 people. Now, Charles Smith has taken interest in recent years in Italian uh, grape varieties, and the Sangiovese, which is in this wine, is, of course, the great grape of Tuscany. So here, Charles Smith is using the Sangiovese grape lightly pressed to produce uh, a nice uh, rosé wine here. If we look at it in the glass, we can see that it is a kind of salmon pink in colour, touch of amber in there as well perhaps, but salmon pink I think is the defining colour of this wine here. Let's um, try it in the nose and see what we get. Now in the nose, it's remarkably restrained. We're not getting a lot of berry aromas in the wine here. Um, if we dig deep, I think we can probably find little traces there of um, raspberry and possibly a little bit of mature apple, but the nose on this wine is relatively restrained. All right, it's time I think to now have a taste of this and see what we get from those Sangiovese grapes. All right, now in the mouth, this wine really begins to open up. Really good, particularly at the back of the mouth. The finish of the wine is very, very long. The nose was very understated with just that, perhaps that slight touch of raspberry, wild strawberry, um, mature apple. The mouth gives a slightly different picture. In contrast to the nose, in the mouth, this has a very full flavor and it's the strawberry which is now coming through extremely strongly. However, it's balanced out by a wonderful dose 
of acidity there. It has a wonderful citrusy acidic bite to it. So we're getting a full flavour. Raspberry and strawberry, particularly the strawberry coming through, but also accompanied by a very nice balance in terms of the acid bite here. Mmm, I've got to have another little sip. Rather good, this. Mmm. Yes, indeed. Okay. Excellent finish on it. Long strawberry finish on this wine. But not too sweet. Wonderful. All right. Now, this is a wine, of course, that has to be served cool to cold. Now, I'm thinking in terms of something like five to seven degrees centigrade for maximum enjoyment. Don't try to drink this wine warm because you'll be disappointed. It has to be cool to cold. This naturally is very much a wine for summer to be enjoyed outdoors in good company. But I think that you can drink this at any time of the year. This will make a very, very nice accompaniment to salads and veggie dishes and could even handle something uh, as powerful as a tuna steak or similar fish dish. All right, let's bring you the heads up on this rather interesting wine made from the Sangiovese grape up there in America's Pacific Northwest by Charles Smith. Vino Rosé by Charles Smith, 100% Sangiovese. Another unusual creation from the great Washington winemaker himself. Three stars plus out of five. Okay, wine lovers, many, many thanks for checking out this week's video and the little introduction to another wacky number there from Charles Smith, Vino Rosé, Sangiovese, 2016 from Washington State in the US of A. Lovely stuff. Okay, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, then please do feel free to give us the big thumbs up, which we appreciate so much. Uh, drop a comment down below. We're always extremely grateful to receive those comments. Share the video around. And of course, follow me on my other social media platforms. And hey, if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe by hitting that big red button somewhere up there behind me. Naturally, I'll be back again next week with another great wine of the week for you. But until we meet again, this is Tony Mulder signing off and saying, hey, take care out there. Be good to each other. Enjoy your wines. And cheers. <laughs>